So in the last video, we have made the uh, the Roka Bogi rear leg, and in this video, we are going to apply generator design on it. So before going ahead, we should check some of the things, uh, or I think uh, we should learn about some things such as preserve geometry, obstacle geometry, constraints, loads, etc. Okay, so what actually a preserve geometry is? So as you can see, if uh, you want to pass a bolt from here, you want this hole to be perfect. So basically, we have to preserve this hole. So in this case, we have to make another geometry that has to preserve, and this geometry should be same as the hole. Okay. Now another thing comes is that if you're going to pass a bolt from here, okay, so you don't need anything near to that bolt. Otherwise, it will get in the way of the obstacle line. Okay, so in that case, our bolt will act as an obstacle. So we have to make a assembly like bolt, a nut, which act as an obstacle for us. Okay, so we have to make another geometry that will act as an obstacle. What are the loads? The loads are the things which are acting on our arms and other parts we are going to apply the loads on this circle we are going to apply loads here and here another way okay loads are the forces only and another thing is the constraint so basically we have to give one constraint minimum one constraint we have to give we have to fix something and then we have to apply load suppose if you are fixing it from here you are going to apply load here or here okay the way you want okay now let's add preserve geometry in it so what we are going to do first click on assemble new component okay you can see it has been automatically selected click on okay and now click on create sketch and we are going to select this plane only in which we are working our leg plane okay now we are going to make the preserve geometry hit p for project basically what we are going to okay, we are going to projecting the previous sketch in our this plane so i'm going to project this uh this oh uh, my god let's see I'm going to project this circle and this circle also. Okay, so I projected it as you can see. Now I'm going to hit up for O for offset. I'm going to click this and I will be doing about thing I should do how much? Mm, 3 mm. Fine. And I'm again going to select O for offset and I'm going to do 3 mm here also and O for offset and 3 mm. Great. We have done it. So this is what you have done. Now click on finish sketch and I'm going to hit for extrude. And here this, this, and this. Okay, I'm going to extrude them by minus 5 because as you can see it has been behind. So I've selected. Okay. And this is okay. So now you're selected. If you want to hide this also, you can select this. As you can see, it has been hidden. Fine, it's a component. So just double click on it and name it as preserve. Perfect. Hit enter. Great. Now let's back again. Here by clicking, you can get back to it again. Now we are going to add an obstacle geometry in it. Fine. For adding obstacle geometry. We are again going to assemble a new component. So assemble a new component. Select hit OK. As you can see, a new component has been added. Now again, create sketch here. Wait. Add uh, again. We are going to add P for preserve. Click on this. Click on this P for project. Sorry, P for project. Click on OK. Click on finish sketch and just exclude them by minus 5 basically you are adding a bolt inside okay minus 5 enter as you can see you have created them if you click on hide it will be get hidden this is your obstacle now further to modify some obstacle because as you can see the bolt is not only the threaded part it also contains some the shank in the front of it okay so that you have to make it too okay that also you have to make so i'm going to add that also then create sketch and i'm going to create here sketch okay uh, now for again p for project hit on okay and uh, just again for project i'm going to make this two and this two hit okay fine now again over offset 
offset it by how much we should do it i think four would be enough four o for offset again uh, four o for offset again and again four hit okay now finish sketch i am going to extrude them again click on this this and this too this and this too okay and just exclude them by six okay and make sure the join option is created here and click on okay so as you can see if you click on this all thing will be high def this is your pressure obstacle part again we are going to do the same thing here also click on back for getting back option now create sketch select this p for project same thing oh some process you have to repeat okay so click on okay now again finish sketch oh we have done my mistake okay so now as you can see here is an option for the timeline you can edit anytime anything from here so just click on here and again click on uh edit sketch okay oh this is quickly something so uh, we have click on edit sketch again and after that we can edit our sketch again so i'm going to do again the same thing for the offset thing again going to offset about 4 great and hit enter now we can do one more thing again just click p for project and we can offset our okay it's not it's not getting selected better to use an offset option again uh, just for drone codes for the things it okay offset and again four and hit enter done you have done it boom now just extrude them again as you can see i'm extruding it like this and this and this and this right i'm going to extrude it by 6 mm fine and make sure it is a join option here and okay as you can see you have created an obstacle geometry if you hide this everything will hide Now just click on your top geometry. Your everything will be visible now for you. Great. So you have created your rear leg with pressure geometry, your obstacle geometry, and your starting shape also. This is your starting shape. Now this much for this video. In next video, we are going to apply generative design on it. We are going to apply load on it. We are going to apply design factors, manufacturing process, factor of safety. We are going to minimize its mass. So in the next video, we are going to apply generative design on our body till then you can see one more thing in it uh, just go to inspect option and click on component color cycling toggle okay as you click on this you can see that everything is been color so the things showing in orange will be showing in orange here and you can also see the things in here just hide it once and hide your initial body too as you can see this is an orange color okay so for better understanding you can use this also and just don't get confused with it okay yellow is your starting shape here fine so let's meet in my next video to more know more about generative designing you can check my blog and also check the video in my channel on generative designing okay now let's meet in my next video and we will learn about generative design right if you like the video hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe till then keep learning keep exploring